welcome to the show. It is the holiday season, and that means lots of parties and lots of food. Shauna wrote to us for help planning a holiday dinner party for her and her friends, so we sent my good friend Andrea Bucket to help her out. Hi, Mary. I'm here to meet Shauna, mom of two who loves to host dinner parties. But typically, it's her husband, James, who's in the kitchen doing all the cooking. Well, I'm here to change that. Today, I'm going to share some delicious recipes so we can turn Shauna into the ultimate dinner party host. <laughs> Hi! Hi! <laughs> Shauna? Yes! So nice to meet you. You too. Come on in! It's amazing. I think Andrea is amazing. I'm so glad that she was able to come here today and help me out. She's just so easy and fun to work with. Shauna and James, I hear you're hosting a dinner party. Yes, we are. And tell me a little bit about that. Um, we're having friends over that love to cook, so I'd love to be able to impress them and make a nice meal for them. Okay, because I heard typically, James, you're the one that does all the cooking. Yeah, that's right. And what is Shauna doing while you're doing all that work? Usually sitting on the couch, drinking a martini or something. <laughs> oh, I like your style, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to give you some tips and tricks so you can be the hostess with the mostest. What are you hoping to get out of today? Um, I'd love to be able to impress our friends with a nice meal and get a few cooking tips along the way. Fantastic. I got you Covered. James, we don't need you for this, so I'm gonna send you out of the kitchen and we're gonna get cooking. Okay, great. I absolutely love Shauna. She's so much fun. I know she's gonna make the ultimate party host. You know what? I think Shauna's gonna knock it out of the park. With a few of my tips and tricks, she's gonna blow them away. Please welcome Andrea Becker. Hi, Andrea. Oh my gosh. It's always good having you in the kitchen. So much fun being here. Oh, man, yeah. I love it. So before we see what you did with Shauna, you have a few kind of like top tips for throwing a stress-free dinner party over the holidays. Yes. Okay, so what are we starting with? Okay, first of all, I'm gonna say something kind of controversial. Okay. I want people to step away from the charcuterie board at a dinner party. What? <gasps> I know, because we love them, but they've been done. Oh, okay? we're switching it up. Yeah, we're I gonna love switch this. it up. Also, okay. you don't wanna have a huge meal. You just want something a little salty, maybe a little briny, to go with a cocktail ahead of time, mm. but not dampen your appetite for the main event. That makes sense, right. totally. Okay, so think popcorn. I think popcorn is super underrated. I agree. Right? Yeah, a, little, a little kettle good. corn. You can put a little rosemary on there if you like. Oh, right? Yeah. It goes oh, nice yeah. with a little cocktail. Listen, if I could live off popcorn and hot dogs, I'd be a happy camper. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> olives. I mean, I love <laughs> olives. They're my favorite thing. They go with martinis. Mm -hmm. They go with like a gin smash. You can warm them up a little bit if you want to go a little bit fancy. Mm -hmm. But a nice little bowl of olives. And also, you can buy all this stuff. I love that. Right? So then you can concentrate on the main. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, I love a little Parmesan chunk. Mm -hmm. Right? With a little bit of fresh local honey on top. Ooh. I know. And then, Mary, I'm going to get you just to put a little bit of thyme on there. Okay. And then put a little toothpicks. And this is perfect for any little cocktail. Again, it's satisfying, but it's not going to, you know, ruin your appetite for no. the main event. And it's going to be, like, so much umami, so much flavor. Exactly. I love a little chunk of cheese. Yes. So we're going to have this, obviously. So up next... In addition to these like appetizers, yes. super simple, you say opt for make-ahead mains. Especially if you are an, a first-time host, mm -hmm. do things that are easy. Do braises, think short ribs. You can do chilies or mm. curries. You know, people love to sit down to a meal with their friends. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be fancy. It could be pizza and Prosecco for crying out loud. Yeah, I was yeah? gonna say, if you want restaurant food, go to a restaurant. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but these will allow you to do it ahead and then just keep it warm on the stove or in the oven. And then when people come over, you can totally enjoy their company. I love that. Yeah. Then you also look very much like the host with the most because exactly. you're like me i just threw this together yeah perfect <laughs> all right so then you also say your next tip i love this is to jazz up some easy side dishes exactly so we're going to go with simple things that you could cook for a weeknight we've got some boiled carrots mm -hmm. here and you think that might be a little boring but we're going to <laughs> jazz it up mm -hmm. i love a little bit of mustard mm -hmm. a grainy mustard with a pop mm -hmm. combined with some gorgeous marmalade or peach jam Ooh. yeah i know warm that up mm -hmm. mix them up and then we're going to finish with some fr uh, flat leaf parsley. Ooh. But you can see immediately this kind of jazzes it up and it takes your everyday, you know, boiled carrots and turns them into something delightful. That is beautiful. It almost makes it almost like a vinaigrette situation. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, that looks great. Now right? we've got corn here. This is like a freezer staple for me. Everyone's got it, yeah. right? Don't let it go bad in the back of your freezer. Mm -hmm. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna chop up some veg. You should also have this stuff. We've mm -hmm. got some red pepper. Mm -hmm. We've got some red onions. Mm -hmm. Again, this is about making it look pretty, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So. All these beautiful colors do that. Some parsley that's been chiffonade. Ooh. And then, Mary, we're going with some butter because everything is better with butter. Especially popcorn. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that looks so good. Yeah. And then 
the last thing you have to do is plate it up. I like to do it family style mm -hmm. or buffet. Mm -hmm. And then look how gorgeous that looks. That? It looks like you spent uh, hours. Hours. Looks like you shook the corn yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, and then your final thing for dessert, you say try to keep things dish and utensil free. Yeah, you know, cut back on the amount of dishes that you want to do. Mm -hmm. We didn't do the charcuterie at the beginning, so we're doing it at the end. Oh, mm -hmm. so you were lying before. A little bit. Okay. Just yeah. a white lie, Mayor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to grab some chocolate and make this gorgeous chocolate board. Mm. This you can take like inexpensive chocolate or really expensive chocolate, whatever fits your budget. Yeah. Put some glorious seasonal fruits. Mm -hmm. We've got pomegranates, we've got some clementines and blueberries, figs. This is great for after dinner. A little nibble, a little drink, some port. Oh, oh my god. You're gosh. the hostess with the most. Yes. yes, Andrea Bucket. Well, I love these ideas. Let's see what ideas you gave Shauna in the kitchen. So the first thing I want to show you is a custom cocktail mix that you can offer your guests when they come. I'll give you a little try here. Okay. And it's almonds, it has some garlic powder and onion powder, mm -hmm. store-bought hickory sticks, a little smokiness. Mm. So if you're doing like a Manhattan or something like that, it pairs really well. And the thing I love about it is that you can do it the day before and it's not gonna ruin your dinner. So Shauna, now we're gonna start on the main event. And this is one of my favorite recipes because it's easy to prepare, but it's really made to impress. I'm gonna get you to get the chicken from the fridge, okay? So chicken Marbella has been around for years and it's a classic for a reason. It's easy to prep the day before. You can marinate it up to 48 hours in advance. It has olives and capers. So you get that brininess and then you get prunes in there, which brings a beautiful jamminess as well. And then a ton of oregano, bay leaves, garlic. I mean, this dish has everything going on. Pop it in a little roasting pan, put it in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes, and everyone is just gonna love this. Now, I'm gonna get you to pour some wine. We're gonna use a nice dry wine here, and that wine's gonna add a beautiful acidity and give you these gorgeous pan juices. So go ahead and pour that in. Measure with your heart. Oh, yeah. All around the outside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right? You can also pour yourself a glass if you're into that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so I'm going to put some brown sugar on top here, and that's going to help caramelize all this chicken so when it comes out, it's super delicious. The great thing about chicken marbella is that it uses chicken thighs, and chicken thighs can cook for a little bit longer, so if you have company that is a little tardy, it's still going to be moist and delicious. So we're going to start on our first side, which is mashed potatoes. Oh. Everyone can make mashed, right? I love potatoes. I'm from PEI. <laughs> Maybe you can teach me a thing or two, Shauna. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's not get crazy here. The tip for doing the mashed potatoes is to mash the potatoes really well before you do all your add-ins. This will keep them light, fluffy, and really creamy. Hey. Show me those muscles. Oh, get in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And when they're almost to the point that you want them nice and creamy, we're gonna add in these delicious ingredients. We're gonna start with some butter, some goat's cheese. Okay. And now we're gonna add some milk and okay. then we're going to go with some yogurt. Once those are mashed to your perfect smoothie texture, we're going to do some chives. So for the mashed potatoes, I love to use russet potatoes because they're creamy and starchy. Is that okay? Beautiful. <laughs> I like to use the goat's cheese and the yogurt to bring a tanginess to them. And then that milk really makes them smooth and creamy. But don't forget the chives, which adds a beautiful, bright flavor at the end. Give it a taste, and then you can season it. If you think it needs a little bit more salt or a little bit more pepper, this is the time mm. to do it. Oh my gosh. Good? I love that. Mm. Amazing. Now let's start on our second side. OK. So green beans are a really easy side. They're super economical, but we're gonna just take it up a notch with that pancetta. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna start by blanching these. You can do this a day ahead. This is probably the only recipe that takes a little bit more prep work. You have to blanch the green beans ahead of time, but you can do that a day in advance if you want. And then you're gonna wrap them in prosciutto, pop them in the oven till that prosciutto is super crispy. And the topping that goes on, it just takes this dish to the next level with the Parmesan, the toasted pecans, the parsley, and the lemon zest. This is a showstopper. I'm gonna get you to do these. Okay. Okay, so grab about 10 or 12. This. All right, so now we're gonna roll it up. So roll it away from you, just tucking those beans in there. Okay. And this just sort of elevates like a normal green bean, so it's a little bit fancy for those foodie friends of yours. Oh. So we're gonna pop these in the oven at 400 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes until that prosciutto is nice and crisp. Last but not least, we're gonna garnish with that gorgeous topping. But see how that sort of elevates that dish yeah. and makes it really nice for entertaining. 
Once all the sides are cooked, the chicken should be perfectly cooked, so we're gonna pull it out of the oven and garnish it. Are you ready for the main event? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the chicken smells amazing. <laughs> Let's get it out of the oven. Oh, oh my yeah. god! Come on, right? Yes, please. Now, this is <laughs> impressive. And one last thing. Now, you can take this to the table just as is. It's a great way to present it. Mm -hmm. But I always like to garnish a little bit of something green and bright just to sort of pop that recipe. Oh, yeah. See how it just falls off the bone? Yeah. And that skin is nice and crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think you're ready for your foodie friends. I think I am too. Thank gonna, you so much. You're gonna nail it. <laughs> I think today all together went great. It was so much fun and it was great to get some real tips that I'll be able to use all year round as well as for this awesome dinner party. Shauna is absolutely gonna knock it out of the park and I'm gonna tell you, James, she's coming for your chef's knife. Thank you so much, Andrea. Thank you, Mary. I think I'm ready to become the ultimate dinner host. Everybody, please welcome Shauna. <laughs> Shauna, that was so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Did, it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, you looked like you had a blast. It was almost as much fun looking as you sitting on the couch drinking a martini. <laughs> yeah, I also like doing and that. That's valid. <laughs> a girl can do both. Um, so you hosted your first dinner party this past weekend. How'd it go? It went so well. Mm -hmm. Our guests absolutely loved Andrew's dishes. Yeah. And um, within like four bites, they said they're definitely gonna make it themselves. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so you've made a huge mistake. I'm gonna warn you that you're now the host. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and FYI, they're now your dishes. They are not my dishes, so you can claim that. Oh, yours. snap! Totally. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Honestly, it was amazing. Andrea, how do you think she did? I mean, she knocked it out of the park. Yeah. She made delicious dishes. She made it look so easy. Mm -hmm. And you have foodie friends, and you impress them. So, I mean, what's better than that? That's a win-win. Yeah. Now, it, was your, did you bring a, a martini to your husband while he sat on the couch, or did he help back clean up? Um, yeah, I yeah. did bring him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always a good thing. Uh, honestly, Sean and Andrea, you did such a fantastic job. What a great team you both yeah, have. Yeah, we're on a fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Merry Christmas to you both. Oh. I am so excited. Honestly, those little green bean bundles, I'm stealing it. Amazing. That's an amazing <laughs> idea. Right. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.